Hello, everybody. My name is Attorney Charles Zavala from Zavala Texas Law here in Houston, Texas. Today I'm coming to you with a fun video about uh, the green card, assuming you get your green card through marriage, right? So this is going to be a video about immigration. So if you ever had any questions about obtaining a green card or what is a green card or how does one get one, how does one get a green card, this is going to be the video for you. So let's start from the beginning. What is a green card? A green card, or it's called legal permanent residence, is the U.S. government allowing someone from another country to come live in the USA permanently. It doesn't make you a citizen, right? So citizen's always going to be top tier. Right underneath that, though, you're going to have what's called LPR, Legal Permanent Resident, a.k.a. Green Card. Um, so a lot of people are going to ask, you know, what's the point of a green card? Why do I want it? Why don't I want it? So for this situation, let's create uh, two imaginary characters, right? Let's have uh, John, who's a U.S. citizen, and then let's have uh, Penelope, who is from Spain, all right? So let's pretend that John and Penelope meet while in Spain. John's traveling abroad. He's a foreign exchange student. Doesn't matter. They fall in love. Unfortunately, at some point, John's going to have to come back to the USA. But if he wants to bring Penelope with her, with him, uh, he can. So the government's going to say this. They're going to say, listen, if you marry a U.S. citizen, you can then apply for a green card. Okay? So this whole video is going to be based off of if you marry a citizen, what can happen? So step one in obtaining a green card for this situation is you have to marry a citizen, right? You can't just come to the USA and say, hey, I want a green card. The USA is going to say, listen, you have to qualify somehow. So here in this example, Penelope married a citizen. There's other ways to qualify. For example, if your parents are citizens and they uh, petition for you, or if you have a child who's a citizen who petitions for you who's over 21, there's different uh, situations. And give us a call if you have any questions. But uh, marriage is a very fairly straight, simple one. So let's pretend uh, John and Penelope get married over there in Spain. And then John comes to me and says, hey, Charles, you know, I, uh, I love Penelope. I want her here to come to the USA. How do I get her a green card? What can we do? What are the benefits? Uh, what's the process? Blah, blah, blah. First thing I would tell him is this. A green card is going to allow her to enter and travel in and out of the U.S. without a problem, assuming she doesn't have a criminal record, right? That's something we'll address at another time. But if you ever do have a criminal record, always let your immigration lawyer know because, um, you know, it can definitely absolutely affect your immigration consequences and whether you're allowed to travel. But for, for this example, Penelope's clean as a whistle. So John's going to say, listen, what do we have to do? I'm going to say, listen, John, is she in the country right now or is she still in Spain? Because that's going to depend a lot. If she's still in Spain, then what we're going to have to do is do a petition and then do consular processing. Consular processing, all it means is that the paperwork is done over there in Spain in the U.S. consulate over there. So USA has consulates all over the world, right? That's kind of like our home office in other countries, also like embassies, but they kind of serve different purposes. So all the paperwork would be done over there. She would then go to an interview. They would uh, make sure everything's legit because, remember, here, if you're marrying a citizen and that's how you're um, acquiring your green card or your uh, permanent status, government's not dumb. Right? They're not just going to say, oh, you're married, congratulations, here's your green card. Right? There's a lot of immigration fraud, there's a lot of green card fraud. So what has to happen, or what's the lawyer's uh, duty whenever we do these green card applications is we have to, it, well, there's a lot of applications. Anytime you're dealing with the government, there's a lot of applications. But um, a lot of applications, a lot of evidence, and what we need to do is we need to convince the, one of the things we need to do is convince the government that you guys are in what's called a, bona fide marriage, right? It's good faith. It's not like you married solely for immigration purposes, right? So that's a big thing because, I mean, you'll see there's funny shows um, like 90 Day Fiance, for example. You know, I don't, that's on, I, think, I believe, on TLC, where you'll see there these people who marry these immigrants from other country and, and immigration is like, ah, we don't believe this. Like, they, 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 there's something a little sketchy about that. And that is a big hurdle to overcome. I'm not saying it's not doable, but we have to do it. So once we prove that, another thing we're going to have to prove is that John, being the USA petitioner, makes enough money to support Penelope, right? Because the USA government's going to say this. They're going to say, listen, you can bring Penelope over if you guys are married, but we want to make sure you, the US citizen John, make enough money to support her so she doesn't have to fall on any of our welfare systems. Because at that point, the USA is going to say, listen, we were honest, maybe a little better if Penelope wasn't here because she is now... Um, on our welfare systems. So we're going to have to show that uh, John makes enough money um, to cover her. 
Along with that, you know, there's going to be a medical exam. They want to make sure Penelope doesn't bring any diseases to the USA, and that's kind of old and antiquated. Um, because, so it originally started back in the, oh, I want to say early 1800s when they imposed that rule. But nowadays, you know, it should be fairly fine unless she has some disease no one's ever heard of that's extremely contagious. All in all, that being said, let's say we come in, the application paperwork, depending on A, what country you're from, and if you do it everything on time, could be anywhere between one to two years. And I know that seems like a lot. I mean, don't get me wrong. It, it's a good amount of time to be separated from your partner, but you don't have to be separated. Penelope could always come to the USA on her tourist visa, visit, he could always go visit her. That's what happens. Good things about once you get your green card is that you will be able to get a work permit, which means the USA says, hey, listen, you can now work here in the USA. And the good thing is they'll give you your work permit before you even get your green card. Um, that's assuming you're applying while here in the US. That's another, um, I guess I could make it part of this video. That's another process called. But right now we're pretending that Penelope is in Spain. So now let's fast forward. Let's pretend, let's switch the whole situation around. Let's pretend Penelope came to the USA to, for her to study abroad. John didn't go over there. Penelope's here. They meet here, they fall in love. John says, Penelope, I don't ever want you to leave. He proposes to her. Penelope does have the option to stay here in the USA and apply for her green card. And she could do everything through here. She doesn't have to go back to Spain. And that is a process called adjustment of status. Luckily, Penelope is able to do that because she was here in the country legally, right? She was here studying. She was here on a student visa. So the rules say for adjustment of status, if you want to get your green card here and you're married to a citizen, you, you can submit all the paperwork and stay here, but you have had to have entered the country legally, right? So that means you maybe entered on a student visa, and then you got married, you entered on a tourist visa, then you got married. Anything where you entered the country legally, you will not have to leave. Okay, so that's a good option for people who are here in the country and want to get their green card as quick as they can. Um, we should talk about that. Give us a call and we'll figure out how it is we can help you. That being said, though, it's still not a quick process, especially with the USCIS. That's uh, the immigration services for um, all the immigration paperwork. They're kind of slow, unfortunately, but it could still be done. So let's pretend Penelope is here in the USA and she does adjustment of status. We could submit everything, the petition, the work permit, the uh, adjustment of status, travel document, lots of sort of things, and that could maybe take a year and a half. And during that time, she's here in the country, and um, she doesn't have to go back to her own country, which is a nice thing to have. Um, let's see some other interesting things about a green card. A green card is valid when you first get it. They may give you a green card for uh, only two years. It's called a conditional green card. And what that means is, let's pretend John and Penelope, USA gives Penelope a green card, but they say, you know what, Penelope, we're not going to give you a 10-year green card, which is usually how long they last. They say, we're going to give you a two-year green card, because we want to make sure that after two years, you're still married to John, right? Because there's a lot of fraud out there. So they're going to say, we want to make sure you're still married to John. If you're still married to John, he signs off on the paperwork, everything's cool. Congratulations, you get your 10-year green card, which is every, what everybody wants who, who, who's trying to get a green card. Um, for your green card, since it is valid 10 years, you got to renew it every 10 years, you never have to become a citizen. So the next upgrade, I guess, would be to become a citizen, but you don't have to. For example, my father is a green card holder, 40-something years. He's just never become a citizen. He just renews it every 10 years. Pros and cons to that, contact me, I'll explain it to you. But long story short, that's essentially what a green card is through marriage. So the basic points are, you have to have a US citizen. You could have a, a green card holder, but that's for another video right now, I'm just trying to make it simple. Let's say you have a US citizen, and then you have a foreign spouse, male or female, doesn't matter. They get married, if they're out of the country, you can apply at the consulate in their home country. If they're in the USA, we could do adjustment of status. All in all, we're looking about maybe one to two years, hopefully maybe a little quicker if we're doing here adjustment of status. And then once all that process is done, you get a nice shiny little green card. The reason they call it green card is because it used to have um, like a green background and stuff like that. It's actually changed a little bit now. Um, but once you have that, you're allowed to freely enter, exit the country, visit other countries, work in the USA. You're a legal permanent resident, which means the USA acknowledges that you're here. They're okay with you being here as long as you don't break any other rules. So if you, loved one, cousin, anybody you know is married to a U.S. citizen and is from another country or this could maybe help them, 
share it with them, you know, or have them give us a call. You know, we speak English, we speak Spanish. Um, we're more than happy to help anybody here in Houston or anyone in Texas. Um, but they can give us a call, 832-819-3723, at the bottom of this video. Um, you should be able to get our contact info, website, YouTube, Facebook, all sorts of social media stuff. But um, if you happen to like these type of videos, feel free to like them, share them. Um, I do check this stuff off, and so I do like to see what the feedback is. You know, some people will message me on Facebook or YouTube and say, hey, that was interesting. I'd like to learn more about this. And that's what I base these videos off of, okay? So remember, basic breakdowns today for green card. Last 10 years, you got to renew it every 10 years. If you're married to a U.S. citizen, that may be one of the easiest ways to do it. You could also get it through other family members, but that's probably going to be your easiest way to do it. And two, you, it's on us to, I'm sorry, three is on us to prove it to the government. So we have to get the evidence. We have to submit everything. And it is a long processing, a uh, long processing, and it's kind of an uphill battle, but that's why you have professionals like us here at Zavala Texas Law who are happy to help you with that, okay? So if you have any questions, feel free to reach us out. My name is Charles Zavala from Zavala Texas Law. Thank you, and have a great day, Houston.